Oh, Lordy. So, people be hating? Now, look. There's a story I just came across, guys, uh, on Kotaku. Uh, and it's about a group of gamer girls, which I think are the greatest thing ever because I'm a heterosexual male. Um, and my wife's a gamer girl, so I get to live the dream. I'm living the dream. But a story of eight gamer girls who played the Division 2, and they're the first group of females. And that's great smelling of people. <laughs> who They're the first group of females to beat the Division 2's raid, as far as we know. And of course we know, uh, you know, these kind of situations will, uh, they will attract detractors and, and haters. I'm not a hater, you know, I, I think that some things are good, some things are not quite as good. Uh, this situation where you have eight women who get together and say, hey, look, we all play the game together. Let's try to be the world's first at beating this raid. I think that's cool. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and, and if that's your goal, if you want to look around and see if there's any other females who've done that, I think that's admirable. I will say this. I don't think that women innately are disadvantaged in any way at playing video games when it comes when it, in comparison to men. I think that we all stand toe-to-toe, uh, -to -toe, so to speak, and, and, and there are many girls in the world who have destroyed men in many competitive video games, including first-person shooters and strategy games and it's 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 hand-eye coordination and it's the way that you formulate ideas when you're playing a video game and if you're good with your hand and your eyes and they work well sometimes you're good at video games so for me when it comes to gaming there doesn't need to be all these intersectional groups it doesn't need to be the black gamers caucus i'm like what the hell is it this is, it doesn't need to be the lgbt gamers caucus it doesn't need to be the straight gamers caucus it doesn't need to be the feminist gamers caucus it just needs to be people playing video games because uh, when you, sometimes when it's not a situation of uh, equal rights, that's that's the umbrella term for everyone to create their group. Uh, when it's not about equal rights, it just creates division. And uh, oh wow, segue, the game is the division. And uh, when it's not about uh, you know underprivileged people or people who are disadvantaged in some way. And, and you're creating these groups, it's going to make everybody say, why are you so special? Does having a vagina make you, you know, special when you play this game or something? And, and it's going to make detractors come out. And I want to talk about it, give you guys my thoughts. And maybe I have already, but I'll drop a link below. This is on Kotaku. This, and, it, and it is a, a link below. So, despite the haters, the Division 2's all-women gaming group is going strong. A note atop the thread in the Division 2 subreddit was awkward. Quote, the moderators have allowed for many congratulation raids completion posts, end quote. It began. This was one of the many threads in celebrating various groups of gamers for clearing the Division 2's daunting eight-player raid. But it continued, quote, this one is unfortunately being locked due to increased nastiness, end quote. So, don't be nasty. I mean, some people can't take words. Uh, you can be nasty to me all you want. I want everybody to drop a negative comment. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I'll continue on. The thread was posted in mid-July by a lawyer who plays games on her PS4 under the name Grapple Girl. She and seven other female players had finished the Division 2's Operation Dark Hours raid, which was added to Ubisoft's cover-based shooter in May. The raid, the first of many of the series, was only accessible to players who poured dozens of hours into the game, leveled up, and equipped themselves with the best gear. It challenged players to take on four tough fights, starting with a shootout with a heavily armored character called Boomer in the airport's entrance and culminating on the tarmac with an assault on a drone-launching truck called Razorback. The grapple girl was proud of what she and her group had done, something that was unusual to see in a cooperative game space that is predominantly made up of men. Eight women who played a fairly popular shooter had found each other online and overcome the hardest challenge in their game of choice. Quote, congratulations to the ladies of Valkyrie Rising who achieved the first ever all-female raid clear on PS4 last night, end quote, the grapple girl wrote. She appended an image of eight female avatars in tactical, tactical gear standing on top of a truck just after conquering the raid. The Grapple Girls thread was upvoted heavily and included numerous congratulatory replies, but it was also loaded with negative comments. I wonder why. Quote, 
Not sure why gender matters in a video game, but congrats, one user wrote. Quote, why is this a thing? My girlfriend plays with me and is just as good as I am, and we don't really need special accolades based on gender, another wrote. Which is true, and I do agree with. My wife has been playing video games with me consistently for the last 11 years, and there's many games, many, that she's better than me at, and it's understandable. She's better than me in Destiny. She's better than me, well, we were neck and neck in Call of Duty. Uh, but, you know, over the years, there's been many games that she had to save my ass in, and she's just better than me in a lot of games. Some Reddit users challenged the Grapple Girl's assertion that the Valkyrie Rising group really was the world's first all-female team. Did she have proof? She replied to that one, quote, Do you know of any other girl raid group who beat it? Let us know. We've outreached to TD2 and done our due diligence to search. That's another reason for this post. More negativity followed, and the thread was soon live. So obviously, uh, this young lady did do her due diligence. She says she searched to see if there are any other female groups who tried to complete this raid. And I'll just say this. Congratulations. Uh, I, I think anybody... In any game that has high difficulty, who gets together and completes a raid, it takes a lot of dedication and it takes a lot of coordination. It takes a lot of hard work. Uh, being a female in, a, in, a, in an environment that is mainly uh, uh, comprised of males, I think that it is, uh, you know, it's admirable. There are plenty of girls who play video games. A lot of females aren't as, um, they aren't as tethered to the, uh, to the environment as men are. And so when you find that diamond in the rough, it's kind of special sometimes. You know, you play a video game and then all of a sudden you'll turn and see or hear a woman on the mic. You're like, wait, that's a girl. I'm playing a chick? And she's like, yeah. You're like, oh, I didn't know. Shit, you're good. Uh, it's always kind of eyebrow raising when you when you meet a girl on a game that's competitive who's smashing ass. And so congratulations to him. In closing, I'll say this. I think everybody, you know, on earth has the capacity to be good in a video game if they put their heart, their mind, their soul into it and they practice practice makes perfect i don't think we need to make intersectional sub groups i don't think there needs to be the black gamers caucus or the lgbt gamers caucus or the uh non-binary <laughs> gamers a, a straight male christian gamers caucus i think it just needs to be gamers man you know it, it just needs to be a community of people who play video games and if a bunch of cur girls find each other and they play more power to them uh and for anyone who beats a hard raid. Congratulations. And for the girls who may have wanted to be first doing this, congratulations. If you are the first, good shit. I don't think there's really any problem with it. Like I said, my wife plays games. Uh, my daughters play games every single day. And uh, it is what it is. You guys let me know what you think about uh, these girls, these girl gamers who beat Destiny 2's raid, the first female group of eight to go in there and be great. Do you think this is uh, worth note? Do you, do you uh, understand the perspective of people who may take kind of an issue with it or do you think that people are being petty and feeding the beast with negativity let me know in the comments below give a thumbs up to help out the channel guys it's coming back it's surging back i'm the beastly gamer i'll see you guys next time